School and Caston Elementary. Please stand. If you represent the maintenance department, transportation, cafeteria, instructional aides, and you're just an employee of Caston Schools, please stand at this time. Of course, we'd be remiss if we didn't include the parents as well. The parents of Class of 2019, if you would stand. Finally, one more group, because it seems to be uh, something that's very important here, is uh, in, in, in every school, is an alumni. If you are, if you are a casting graduate and you're not currently standing, please stand at this time. So seniors, what I want you to do is turn around and kind of look at all these people. If you need to stand up, feel free to stand up. This is the casting family that you have been part of for many, many years here. And these people here have always taken the time, or will take the time, to support you. Every single one of these people that are standing out there, up here, when you need something, the Caston family is there for you. And that's what I need to remember. You need to be there for them, they're gonna be there for you. Let's give everybody that's standing a big round of applause. This year marks the presentation of our eighth year of giving out the Distinguished Alumni Award here at Casting. The purpose of the Distinguished Alumni Program is to demonstrate to student, staff, and community, mem community members in nearby areas that Casting has much to offer here. There are many paths that one may take upon graduation, and all these paths could lead to successful lives. This year, Casting is proud to recognize seven graduates who were chosen to represent the alumni, the Distinguished Alumni Class of 2019. These individuals have taken diverse paths, yet each has successfully educated their educational careers in their chosen fields. They serve as a model and a source of inspiration to all our graduates and they con as they contemplate leaving cast and entering into the work world themselves or the college world or beyond. So Distinguished Alumni, as I read your name, and a short excerpt from your, from your bios that are, that are also in today's program. If you've not picked up a, a program from the Distinguished Alumni as you leave today, make sure you pick those up as well. So please come forward as I read your name and read the short bio, and we're going to recognize each one of you, and Ms. Douglas will, will make a presentation to you. Our first Distinguished Alumni is from the class of 1965, Mark Maddox. Mark, Mark graduated in the first class at Ball State University's College of Architecture in 1971. He is the owner of Maddox and Associates Architectural Firm. Mark served as president for the Southern Chapter of American Institute of Architects and on the board of Indiana Society of Architects. He has also documented 10 bridges since 1970 through the Indiana Covered Bridge Society. He was featured in the Indiana Architect Magazine as one of the outstanding architects in our state. His work spans well beyond our state borders, but Mark is especially known for putting his stamp on our local community by designing projects for local community buildings, both the Fulton Baptist and 12 Mile Bethlehem churches, and fire departments in 12 Mile, and Grass Creek, and Denver, and New Waverly, and Lucerne. <laughs> that was on the next page. Mark has also designed several projects here for the Casting School Corporation. Mark now resides in Delphi, Indiana. Congratulations, Mark Maddox, class of 1965. Our second distinguished alumni is Dave Lease, class of 1979. Dave is a graduate of Vincent University. Dave began his tenure of leadership in the field of agriculture 
as a senior in high school through district and state level executive committee involvement with the FFA. At age 25, Dave became the youngest regional sales manager in the history of Cubada Tractor Corporation and continued serving that corporation for 33 years. He received numerous awards while developing and managing 53 new dealer accounts in a six state area prior to his retirement in April of 2019. Since 1991, Dave and his father-in-law have operated one of the first grass-fed rotational grazing herds in Fulton County as part of an organic beef operation at CNL Farms. Dave continues to work in farming and devotes time to his church and community. Dave and his family reside in Rochester, Indiana. Congratulations, Dave Lee's class of 1979. Sixth distinguished alumni 
is Eric Walsh, class of 2002. Eric received his graduate degree in accounting from Goshen College. Eric was a member of the basketball team at Goshen, where he set a record at Goshen College men's basketball, all-time leading scorer and leading rebounder while playing for their team in, from 2002 to 2006. He was a three-time first-team basketball all-conference and NAIA scholar athlete, third-team NAIA basketball All-American. Eric was hired in 2006 by Umbaugh, a municipal advisory CPA firm with over 125 employees and office locations in three states. And in 2017, he became one of the youngest partners in the 65-plus year history of the company. Eric currently serves on the Fulton County REMC Board of Directors and has earned credentials from the National Rural Electric Cooperative Association. He is a graduate of Fulton County Leadership Academy, and on a side note, what I'd like to say, as I said with Justin, I've known, I've known Eric, I've coached against Eric. He was the toughest player to ever prepare for because you couldn't prepare for him. He was just that good. He was just cast in basketball. It was just uh, 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 a great thing to see you play as well. Not coach against you, but play. Eric and his family reside in Macy, Indiana. Congratulations, Eric Walsh.
Hello everyone. Mom, this is your cue to start crying. <laughs> okay. Graduating class of 2019. I have a few things to say to you, but I'll try to keep it short so we can gather diplomas and go home. First of all, I want to thank everyone who helped us get this far. Be sure to thank the teachers, administrators, and family members who have stood by your side. But also remember to thank the unsung heroes like janitors, lunch ladies, secretaries, bus drivers, etc. There are many people that we sometimes forget about, and that includes ourselves. It is always emphasized that the graduating class thank those around them, but as ridiculous as it may sound, we sometimes forget that this is our accomplishment. Sure, you may have needed a little help along the way, but you did this. We did this. Remember to be proud to have come this far. This is your accomplishment, and although it might feel like a natural next step, remember that you could have given up, but you didn't. I'm sure that most of us have sat down in front of a test or walked into speech class and thought, yeah, no, I'd rather drop out than do this. Personally, I thought hot seat in Spanish 3 was the worst. It's literally called hot seat. Even the name is terrifying. Regardless, even if we wanted to give up or drop out, we didn't, and that takes guts. We made it through the speeches, the tests, the finals, the projects, and now we're here. We're finally graduating. We made it, you guys. We're going to get a fancy piece of paper that symbolizes all we have done, and now we get to go forward with our entire lives ahead of us. To wrap this up, I want to thank everyone who could and couldn't be with us today. We've made these past 13 years memorable, through painting in kindergarten to this very moment. Now we get to go out and make even more memories in this new stage of our lives. No matter where life takes you, I'm sure that all of you will do wonderful things. Thank you for these amazing 13 years. <laughs> This time, the casting choir, under the direction of Mrs. Michelle Byrne, will now perform two songs.
graduating class. That person will be named the class valedictorian. Again, we invite the parents to stand and be recognized as well. Again, with great pleasure, introducing our 2019 valedictorian, Brock Wichkowski.
So I had to give it my love. I'm sorry. My bad. And I've done that numerous times. How many of us have? All of us out there probably have said that many times. Another good quick example, and I'm going to use this because it's very relevant today. Seniors, you were listening to me on practice, and, and one of the things I addressed you on was, hey, when you get here at 115, we all are going to be in the choir room, and you're going to check in. Today, to make my point, one of the seniors comes in and goes, hey, where are we supposed to meet? Right? We've all been there. All been there. So, seniors, here's your last test before you receive your diploma. You all have to pass this test to get your diploma. I'll make sure you pass. It's going to be on listening and hearing. But I want everybody to participate in this. So all of you, are you ready? Okay, listen to this test, and there will be a question at the end. Let's pretend you are the bus driver, and it's your job to drive the 12 mile bus route. One day you get on the bus and you start to count students. At the first bus stop, there's five students. The next bus stop, there's three students, but two get off. At the next stop, two get on, two get off. At the next stop, three get on, and one person gets off the bus. Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you know the answer to this. What color are the eyes of the bus driver? <laughs> no, everyone. Who knows the color of the, the bus driver's eyes? Raise your hands if you know. Really, you really know. Okay. All right. Now, I really like the process of reteaching, relearning, and just kind of so we can all pass this test. Let me start with the very first let me go back. Okay. Well, we, the question was, what color are the eyes of the bus driver? All right. Here we go. Let's pretend you are the school bus driver, and it's your job to drive the 12-mile route. You're the driver. You're the driver. Now, raise your hand if you know the, school, uh, the color of the eyes of the bus driver. Come on. Come on. Yes, you made it. They passed their final exam. So in closing, listening is one of the more important skills you can have. Listening involves a lot more than just hearing. But if I keep going any longer with this speech, all you're going to hear is blah, 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 because all you want to do is get your diploma, right? So class of 2019, take a lesson from me. Do your best, and don't be accused of listening, but not hearing again. With all the listening that we do, you'd think we'd be good at it, but we're definitely not. Congratulations, class of 2019. I applaud you. Let's everybody applaud the class of 2019.
Macy Elizabeth Batista Kobe. David Alexander Bennett. Noah Urich Colvin.
Mackenzie Aaron Passion. Brock Nathaniel Quillen. Mitchell Lee Rands. So I'm in my fourth year here now, and I uh, tend to get gifts every year from the senior class, and it's something different, and they somehow seem to have found my senior picture, and uh, <laughs> I don't know whether it was Sydney, wasn't it? See? There's enough people that were still, like, even though they're walking across, and they're, they're graduating, they were still like, I'll tell you. <laughs> Seniors, please rise at this time. Mrs. Douglas, members of the Gaston School Board, as principal of Gaston Junior Senior High School, I certify that these seniors have met all of the requirements set forth by the Gaston School Corporation and the state of Indiana. I now hereby pronounce the students before you to be 2019 graduates of Gaston Junior Senior High School. Students, you can now move your tassels. Congratulations. Thank you. 